He's the world's premier F1 photographer. For more than two decades, Keith Sutton has been shooting the stars and cars of Grand Prix racing. I think from the moment I uh, stepped from, you know, behind the fence to in front, you know, to be in front of the cars at Alton Park at Old Hall Corner on the inside there at 17 years old, that was the moment uh, I decided I wanted to be a, a, a motorsport photographer. It was a dream. Over the years, Keith and his brother Mark have recorded some of Formula One's most evocative images. Just be very patient. Every time you wander up and down, he's just waiting for pictures to happen, really. You just keep looking into sort of the little gaps to see if there's any nice portraits of the drivers or whatever. It was Mark's quick reactions in Adelaide that established Mika Hakkinen's reputation as the flying fin. I sort of heard in my ear just a slight, uh, slight screech of the brakes. The next minute, the car jumped up in the air, and I just basically followed it through on the motor drive. I was just in the right place, basically at the right time, shooting the right shutter speed, the right exposure. Everything was perfect. It's a one in a million picture. Sometimes it's simply a matter of being in the right place at the wrong time. I was at the uh, Australian Grand Prix in 1986 when the championship was being fought between Nigel Mansell and Nelson Piquet and Alan Prost. I could see towards the end of the race, the brakes were starting to, to wear and Nigel Mansell's tyre exploded. That incident cost him the championship and I was the only freelance photographer to get that picture. When something happens or you know that you've got some good shots, yeah, you can come back feeling quite pleased, but it's not until you actually get back and see the film process that you know that you've actually captured that. And of course, it's not just about the cars. A few of my colleagues and myself published a book called The Glamorous World of Grand Prix Racing, which was 130 pages of young ladies from the Grand Prix, which proved very popular. We'd probably do five miles, maybe just walking up and down, and 20,000 frames of the Formula One. The sort of film we use is 50 ASA Fujifilm. Very, very fine grain. The light is a very important part. Getting the exposure, the sharpness of the, of the lens, you know. You have to look for the pictures. Keith and I both love to go and take pictures of the body work and things like that. Promotional girls, and then obviously the grid girls. I think that's what everyone outside Formula One, you know, sees as being the glamour part. By constantly searching for a fresh angle, Keith was able to capture the essence of a jubilant Ayrton Senna. Well, this was when he won the 1991 Belgian Grand Prix. Instead of doing the normal shot of opposite the podium, where all the other photographers were, there was a point at the side of this podium where you could get up high. He looked up and sprayed the champagne towards me, and I knew at that point I had a very, very emotional picture, one of, one of my all-time favorite pictures of him. I still enjoy the racing itself. The biggest thrill for me is the start of a Grand Prix. You know, being there down at the first corner when they'll come in. A lot of it's to do with the experience of knowing the circuits and where the light's going to be that particular day. On the race day, it's a matter of going to the main overtaking points on the circuit. I want to carry on getting the best shots in the future. But, uh, we don't know what they are yet. 